candlestick and bar charts. A candlestick or bar chart can give you a picture of what happened during a time frame. You can see the open, low, high, and close very easily. A candle or bar can represent one day, one week, one month, one hour, or even one minute. So here's a chart of Lulu, and this is a daily chart. See, it says daily, and each bar represents one day. Black bars are up days and red bars are down days. This is a open, high, low, close bar chart, and it's on a daily time frame. So see, it says daily here, and each bar represents one day. The red bars are down days. The black bars are up days. There's a little mark to the left. This signifies the open. So in this day here, we could see that Lulu opens around 290, and then it goes up during the day, and it closes at this point. Okay, so the left part is the open, and the right part is the close. So this day, just looking at this bar, I could say, okay, Lulu opened at 290. It went up during the day, and it closed near the high of the day. So that's bullish. Now let's look at a red candle here. Okay, on this day here. It opened at this level here. See the little mark to the left? It went down, all the way down here during the day, and then had a little rally, and it closed around 2.30. Okay, so just by looking at a bar, you can tell what's going on. Okay, once again, the left mark is the open, and the right mark is the close. The black candle, black bar, I should say, is an up day, and the red bar is a down day. Now here's our most recent bar. And notice we can also look at the top, and this is from StockCharts.com. We can see the open, the high, the low, and the close, and it tells us our date over here. And over here it tells us this is a daily chart, which means each bar represents one day. A high-low close chart is very similar, except you do not see the open. You just see the high for the day the low for the day, and the close. The close is more important than the open. So this is why some traders, they want a simpler chart. They just want to see the high, the low, and the close. So here you could see, on this day here, you could see it was a down day, and the close was over here. On this day, it was an up day, and the close was near the high of the day. When you see an up day, and it's a large bar, and it's a close near the high of the day, that is bullish. When you see a red bar and it closes near the low of the day, that is bearish. Candlestick charts. Candlestick charts are the most popular type of charts and I think they're fantastic because they tell you so much information. This is a post from my friend at Finance Stocks Investing on Instagram. I highly recommend you follow his page. He has some fantastic information on personal finance as well as some information on the basics of investing. So here you see two candlesticks. We have a green one and a red one. The green represents an up period of time. In this instance, we'll say an up day. And the red candle represents a down period of time. In this instance, we'll say this was a down day. So the upper wick represents the high of the period of time. And the lower wick represents the low of the period of time. Same thing on the red candle. The upper wick represents the high and the lower wick represents the low. On the up day, we have the open down here, and the close is up here, and the body of the candle is the gain. Okay. On the down day, we have the open up here, and the close is down here, and the big body, this big red body, represents the loss for the period of time. There's four types of candles. There are red candles, which are down days. There are white candles, which are up days. They are, there are black candles here. Now, a black candle means there was a gap up, okay? Now, notice Lulu closes this day at this point, and it gaps up to here, okay? See, it gaps up to this level. It went higher for the day, and then it closed down here at a lower level. So, a black candle means the close is higher than the previous day's close, but the close is lower than the open. So, a black candle signifies that the stock went really high at 9.30 in the morning and then it closed at 4 p.m. lower than it was at 9.30,
but the close at 4 p.m. was higher than it was 24 days, 24 hours ago. Okay. Now a red and white candle we're going to talk about on the next slide. Okay. So again, we have our four types of candles here. The red candles are down days. On this day here, we had an open at the top here around 315 or so. We had a rally above 320 and then we had a close near the low. Okay. That's a red candle. A red and white candle means there was a gap Okay, there was a gap down. So the previous close was over here. And the next day, Lulu gapped down and opened at 9.30 Eastern time at this level here. Then it went down during the day to 2.90 and it closed up at this point. So the red and white candle signifies is that the close was lower than the previous day's close, but the close is higher than the open. Okay, so what this tells us is that the stock gapped down in the morning and then traders got bullish on the stock during the day and the price went up and it closed higher than the open. So in the morning, there was a gap down. Okay, a gap down. A gap down means that let's say the previous day it closed at 100 and the next day it opens at let's say 98. There's a gap. There's missing price. So there was a gap down and then there was a rally and it closed higher than in the open but lower than the previous day, okay? Here's a gap up. So you have a close here and you have a gap up over here, right? And the black candle, there's another gap here, right? There's a gap up to this level. There's a little bit of rally and then a close down here. Notice the close is lower than the open up here, but the close is higher than the previous close, okay? So candles tell us a story of what happened during the day. And once again, we have four types of candles. The white candles are the up days. The red candles are the down days. The black candles means there was a gap up and the close was lower than the open for the day. And a red and white candle means there was a gap down and then the stock was bullish during the day and it closed higher than the open. Okay, so it's the, the red and white candle, it's still a down day, but buying came in during the day and the close was higher than the open. And notice, larger candles are more significant. When you see a candle like this, that's a large candle with a close near the high, that's bullish. When you see a large candle like this with a close near the low, that's bearish. Candlestick charts, once again, we have the black candles over here. We have up days, which are the white candles. We have red and white candles down here. And we have red candles down here, which are down days. And notice, notice what happens here with TDOT. We have a hammer candle. We're going to talk about this in a, in a following slide. What happens here is it closes at this level here around 165. And it gaps down the next day to 160. Okay, It goes even lower during the day to 150. And then traders get bullish and they drive it back up to this level here around 165 okay so once again there's a gap down okay there's a gap down and it opens here it goes lower during the day and then it closes near the high that's a hammer candle we're going to talk about that later but for now i just want you to understand what a red and white candle is it means there was a gap down and then it closed higher at the end of the day than the open again a black candle here this tells us a very good story for the day. We see that we had a, a rally in the morning and then the stock was driven down and it closes just like that. And that's bearish because the close is lower than the open. And look at this, there was this sell off, okay? So the stock gapped up and it went all the way up here and everyone was bullish and then it fell and it closed down here. So that tells us that there's problems. And we're gonna talk about that more in the next slide. And notice the stock fell after that, okay? And remember these big red candles are bearish and big white candles are bullish. We'll talk about that more in the next slide. Okay, so when you see a very large candle like this where it engulfs the entire previous candle, that's called an engulfing candle, very bearish. Notice the high and the low are way bigger than the previous day's high and low. It completely engulfs the prior candle and that's very bearish. Okay, now if we saw the opposite, if you saw a, a bullish engulfing bar, that would be very bullish, right? Because if you saw that the buying really came in and completely engulfed the previous day, that would be bullish. But this is bearish here. 
Okay, when you see a large white candle, that's bullish. Now, this is the hammer candle that we talked about. Now, this is very bullish. Now, notice it looks like a hammer. Now, why is this bullish? What happens is the stock opens down here and it falls during the day and people are worried. And then what happens? The buying comes in and it hammers off the lows. The buying comes in and it hammers off the lows and it closes near the high. That's a bullish indicator. Why is that bullish? Because it tells you during the day, even though the stock was falling, people said, hey, this is a bargain in around 155, 150, and they started buying it, and then it closed near the high of the day. So you never make a decision just off one candle, but a hammer candle sometimes can signify a bottom because it shows support, okay? It shows that buyers came in off this low area here, and they drove the stock up, and it closed near the high. It hammered off the bottom. Now, the gravestone doji is the opposite. Notice we had a rally in the morning, and what happened? During the day, there was a sell-off. Lots of selling came in, and then it closed at this point, and then what happens? The stock falls the next day. Okay, so hammers are bullish. Notice we get a hammer candle here, we get a hammer candle here, and then we get a little rally. When we get these gravestone dojis where there's an upper wick to the candle, right, this high upper part, that can be a bearish signal. Now, I never make a trading decision off what in candle, these hammers and these dojis are important clues. And notice in the video here, see some hammers. We get a hammer off the low here. We get a hammer here. We get a hammer here. And notice they signify important levels of support and the stock starts heading higher. Okay, so we get some bouncing hammers off here, off this level here, off the 20 day moving average. So hammers are important. I don't make decisions just of one hammer candle. But it's important to read a candle and understand what's going on because a candle will tell you the story of what happened in the day and which levels are support, which levels people are buying a stock at, and which levels potentially are resistance where people are selling a stock at. And notice closing near a high is very bullish. So we like to see that we like to see that during the day the stock went up and it closed higher on the range. Okay, so here it went up, closed higher in the range. Here went up, close higher within the range, and here closes higher in the range. Because what we want to happen is we want the stock to go up during the day, and people want to still buy it later on in the day. So closing near the high of the range is bullish, and the larger the candle, the more bullish we get. Candles and bars sum up the story. The close is the most important part of the candle or the bar. Okay, if you see a large candle, a large bar, that's more significant because more action happened during the day. As we saw, hammers off the lows can signify a bottom, especially if this occurs on heavy volume. Okay, so we saw here this hammer off the low on heavy volume coming in, that was a great sign of support. Okay, huge red candles or red bars on heavy volume can be a sign of trouble. That means that there was a lot of selling that day. Large upper wicks with a close near the low, which was the gravestone doji, which we spoke about, can be a sign of trouble, right? So we spoke about this. When you see that gravestone doji here, that could be a sign of trouble. It's not always, but sometimes it is. And time frame is important. I use the daily charts in these examples, but you could also use other time frames. You can use a chart where each candle represents one week or one month. In this case, one candle is one day. Okay, but I also often will use weekly charts. And the higher the time frame, the more significant it is. So if you have a weekly chart and you have a 15 minute chart, the weekly chart is more significant than the 15 minute chart. Why? Because it's it's rarer to get a bar or a candle on a higher time frame, right? So on a weekly chart, you only get one bar per week, whereas on a 15 minute chart, you get another bar every 15 minutes. So the higher time frame is more significant. Now we're looking at Amazon, and this is a weekly chart. Every one of these bars represents one week. Now, why would somebody use a weekly chart and a daily chart? Because the weekly chart will give you the long-term point of view, what's going on. So here we could see that we have this hammer candle here, this hammer bar, I should say, on heavy, heavy volume coming in here. And notice that's the bottom of Amazon here. And again, we had a hammer bar right here at the bottom. Okay, you see these hammers on very high volume over here as well, and that signifies the 
bottom signifies support off the lows. And then we see Amazon goes on a very, very strong run. And notice this candle, this bar, I should say here, where it closes near the high. So you never make a decision off one bar. But bars and candles can tell you a lot. Just looking at this particular bar here, I could see Amazon's finding support off the lows. And it's closing near the high. I see that heavy volume coming in. And it tells me that people have been buying Amazon at these levels. And then I could see over here a lot of strength coming into Amazon. And then it heads higher. Okay, so I like to use weekly charts and daily charts. The weekly charts give me the long-term point of view, and a daily chart gives me the, the point of view for a shorter term for what's happening each day. I can zoom in and look at the action more closely.